Hello, my dearest friends. This is the VCLT set by my VC friend in the US, Mr. Tone Scott. He was the director of operations at Silas MCA Records, later artist management at Handprint Entertainment, managing renowned artists like Jennifer Lopez, Will Smith, Babyface, and Sean Puffy Combs. Later, founder of his own company, Platinum One Entertainment and Music Life Enterprises. An amazing list of credentials, and I'm very humbled to have received this VCRT from him. Thank you Tone for sending all this to me all the way from California. Hello my dearest friends, I'm happy to see you all again. Let's go straight into this. I've bought three of the latest audio technical cartridges from their new VM series. They are the VM520EB, the VM530EN and the VM540ML. I have high hopes for them just as I have for the latest Goldring E1, E2 and E3 cartridges also coming soon to this channel. As usual, I have bought all of them with my own money from my own pockets so I hope as many of them do well as possible and of course so as to pose competition for the superb cards of the Grado Green, the Grado Red, the Goldring 106, the Gaoka MP110 and the Nagaoka MP150 which we have auditioned in the past one and a half years. Better competition will push standards of vinyl playback even higher and we consumers will benefit as a result. Let's go! Today, the VN520EB. base of the VM520EB, not as deep as the Grado Green and the Nagaoka MP110. But quantity aside, what is more important is the quality. The 520's base control is suboptimal. The uprise of base speeds is softened, not sharp. This is not high fidelity. Not only is the response slow, bass beats lack amplitude, lack power, lack dynamics. There's also some degree of boominess. Thus, what are supposed to be start stop, quick and punchy bass beats have become blocks of muddy, low frequency sound waves. Bass. Again, not deep, quite boomy and not articulate. Details are glossed over. Not fun to listen to, you can do much better, tons better with its cheaper Group B rival, the $95 Grado Green. What you say now? Oh really? Your melody is 
Symbols are not given a good showing by the VM520EB. High frequency extension is curtailed, thus, symbol trails are missing, and the whole presentation is a bit dry and parched. The conversation and watching television. I think you're loud. Tell her, madam, compared to your makeup, we're mute. I'm gonna tell you how to be a star. Just as the 520EB is not ready with bass transients, it is also not ready with high frequency transients as cymbal strikes and attacks by the percussionist are glossed over. Together with a curtailed high frequency extension, cymbal play sounds one dimensional. <laughs> Again, but the mid range balance is not ideal enough. There is a slight emphasis of the upper mid range, possibly in an attempt to spice things up a bit and to make it attractive. But this is not natural and you'll find it tiring after some time. How was I to know that this was always only just a little game to you? Tell the truth, I think I should have seen it coming from a mile away. Cause I feel a fair amount of sibilance is present too. If I gave the thought to fascination, I would know it wasn't right to care. Logic doesn't seem to mind that I am fascinated by another affair. The sun will be shining. Guitars. Details and harmonics are not there, you get pretty monotonous strumming of strings. The artistry in Dutch fingerwork are glossed over and the VM520EB does not do justice to the exquisite guitars that Doug takes pride in owning and playing. I am again disappointed with the 520 Sweet production of Locomotion as it is a poor facsimile of John Coltrane's playing, not high fidelity at all. Fun and thrilling harmonics are just smoothed out and the whole presentation is just so far away from giving us reason to indulge and further our common cause of vinyl analog. The VM520EB is not a good ambassador of vinyl playback. <laughs> The same thing happens when the VM520 plays through the grooves of the Band Bomb album, what is supposed to be a performance of inspired and heartfelt singing by Gal Costa and Tim Bayer is reduced to a dull, almost zero textured copy.
Beatle with the 520 is the cut in charge when playing top tracks from my favourite top singer from Singapore, maybe it's he. <laughs> I went to Japan many times and on my recent trips, I saw tons of marketing information, advertisements from Audio Technica appealing to prospective customers about their new improved VM series. But sorry, the actual performance of the 520 definitely falls way short of providing us with any modicum of engaging listening. The class leaders of Group B, the Nagaoka MP110 and the Grado Green still lead easily. Friends, again here we realise that real, honest, good performance often comes without hype and with little or no commercial advertisements. Go to a Grado Green and a Gaoka MP110, they're going to provide you with that analog beauty, dynamism, detail, clarity, engagement, and fun. I really hope the 530 and 540 do better. The latest Gold Ring E series of cartridges are also next in line. We will keep ourselves updated with these latest cartridges launched into the market. See you again, my dearest friends. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Moko too.